you're in Vietnam now and you know that you're going to a war zone, you know that given your job, you're going to be in combat, you're not going to be a rear echelon guy, you know that going in. What was it that for the first time made that knowledge concrete? So you know you're going into a war zone, but something happens or you hear something or you see something where the point is really driven home. Yes, this really actually is a war zone. We were uh, at uh, Dragon Mountain Base Camp, which became known as Camp Inari, the fourth division. But when I was there, it was called Dragon Mountain. And we were undergoing our three-day prep for going out to the field. I forget what we had to do. We had to do phase, or maybe gas mask. I'm not sure what it was. But next to us was a chopper landing strip. And one afternoon, I remember standing outside this squad tent, and we were being lectured by a sergeant. And a Chinook, a big helicopter, two blades, came in, and there was a sling underneath them. It was filled with green bundles. Mm. And he landed, and he dropped down very, very carefully, slow. And then they ran underneath the helicopter and they unhooked the bundles. They gently laid them down. And the sergeant looked at all of us and said, those of you who are going to the field, you're replacing those guys right there. Mm -hmm. wow. And I realized that it was a real war and I was looking at 20 or 30 dead bodies on that Chinook that had been lowered very gently, I might add to the ground by the uh, crew. And you so were that, was my, that was my experience. And you were 19 at the time? At that point I was 18 still.